What's going on everybody, this is Always back with the next part of our Java FX Essential Training Series. In the last video we created a sign up form, so if you remember the code, it was quite hard to visualize that. Let's say if I send that code to my brother or any of my friend who is a programmer, that would be very hard for them to visualize and look at it and see what's going on with that code. For any decent sized applications which is developed in Java, you need to separate your layout from your logic. Java offers this ability to do that, it's called FXML. So with FXML, you can separate your layout from your logic. The web page you're seeing right now on my computer is the FXML API documentation. Now let's go and create a new project in FXML and then I'll show you how to separate your logic from your design. So let's go and get started. Let's create a new project. I'm going to click on the file menu and then click on new project and the category would be JavaFX. In the project, instead of selecting JavaFX application, you need to select JavaFXML application. Click on next, here you name your project. So I'm going to type FXML1 and then click on finish. All right, so our project has been created and a default code has been generated by NetBeans as well. On the top, if you notice, we have three files instead of one Java file. So we still have a main Java file, which has our main method. And we have a FXML document file and a controller.java file. Well, the bigger name is FXML document controller.java, but I'm just going to call it controller file, FXML file, and a Java file, right? So in the Java file, if you notice, we imported our libraries, whatever we needed. We imported that fxml.fxml loader library, and then it extending an application class. So every Java, every Java FX application must extend application class. And then we have a start menu, which has a scene and primary stage there. Now I'm going to change the scene to 400 by 400. On the line 22, you notice that we're creating a parent node, right? So parent root. So we're referencing that fxml file that is uh, fxml document.fxml, right? All the UA components will be created in fxml file. I'm going to go back to Java file and let's run the program. So this is what we have click me button right as you can see that there is no button in java file as we made a button and a form in the last video but there is no button here but we still have a button in output that's coming from fxml file so if i click that there is a text underneath the button and then if you notice in your output window it says click me you click me so let's close this application and now we're going to change here i'm going to change this to 250 and did you notice that there was no title to our application? So I'm going to create a title. So I'm going to type stage. Let's go to fxml file now. I'm just going to click on fxml file. And now as you can see on the top, we imported a few libraries. The difference between importing libraries in Java file and fxml file greater than sign and question marks are from the start and the end, right? So anything you want to import, let me import a geometry. So import Java FX and then dot, then we need geometry. I'm going to type a static here to import everything available in this. Okay, this is a markup language. If you are familiar with the HTML or XML, this shouldn't be strange to you, right? Okay, so here I'm just going to press enter because I'm gonna explain a few things here. Notice the attributes of a anchor pane layout. First is the FX column controller, which is required when you want to use controller-based event handler in your markup. Also, we have XMLNS colon FX attribute which is always required and specifies the FX pane space. So the other part you should recognize is the alignment and spacing of our anchor pane. Down in here, you can see that we have a button, a label, which was 
when we run the program you can see the button in your application and that's what happening so this course is not for people who want to learn xml or fxml this is just to show you guys that how these things work so you can separate your layout from your logic and you can separate your controllers as well so what's happening in the controller file is basically when this event happens then this code is get executed so when i click this button it has an event on action handle button action right this is the button event so when we click on button then this code get executed because we have the method for the same id right last thing i want to show you one very important thing in java fx application development imagine you have a really big applications and you don't want to spend a lot of time making your uis or design of your application well we are living in 2016 right so we should be able to do that graphically instead of writing this old code and then instead of thinking of a logic for that application and making a ui and spending a lot of time for that so there's a better way to design your ui in java fx application development I want to show you one more thing if I right click and open this fxml file it is going to open in scene builder this is a scene builder this is a graphical scene builder you can see that we have anchor pane we have two one button and a label there and if I want to add another button so I'm gonna click on control I'm gonna click on button and then I'm gonna drag that and I'm just gonna drop it somewhere here okay and the button is there now let's save this file and you can type control s close this file and let's see wow we have another button here uh, we have the size for that as well and we have that text as well well you could add id as well but some of the code you need to learn to make it full functional because uh, scene builder is good enough but at the end of the day you want to do advanced layout stuff then you need to learn xml files the next video i'm going to be showing you how to install that scene builder because it is not default supported or installed in netbeans id or any other java id such as intellij id or eclipse so thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and the next video is going to be a project based so we're going to be developing something in the next video so I'll see you guys in the next video. Chase.